This is a frame showing some of the bees in the hive where the trap out was done down on Martin Luther King. I'm putting it back in the hive. And I hope this is recording. I'm pull out another hive and check it. Oh, right, you got my shadow. Pull one more hive out, one more frame out, and check it. You can see it's covered with bees, also. Going to transfer them into another bee box. Looking to see if there are any eggs in here. If the queen maybe is laying anything. I don't really expect to see it. That's a lot of uh, nectar in there, isn't it? A little bit. Don't see anything there. One more frame here and then we'll pull the bottom box. Very little activity on this frame. These are kind of quiet this morning, which is good. You don't see any small hive beetles or any problems. This is the bottom box on the trap out, which has a lot more bees in it. short frame put in this box. I don't know any more. A very strong hive from that trap out. Good looking bees. They're very healthy. A lot of pollen on this frame that they have put in here. Love to see bees like this. There's some queen cells that were there that have been opened up. So we must have a queen in there probably. It'd be too early to probably find her unless she's been bred. She'll be small and fast. These seem very calm and gentle. <clears throat> I would say we got a pretty good hive here. One small hive beetle. Yeah. Mess the comb up a little bit, but I'd rather make sure I get the small hive beetle than to worry about the comb because they will straighten that out. Beautiful bunch of bees. Well, 
last frame of bees, still no sign of any eggs. Of course, it is early. We just unhooked the trap out just about an hour ago. But a beautiful bunch of bees. One of the successful or the enjoyable things about doing a trap out when you see a, a trap out completed and it's good. My cameraman is trying to run from a bee. All right, we have nine frames in there and have a nice hive. We'll leave them alone and let them settle in this new box. Put this other box in front of it so that any remaining bees will fly out and will get back in that box once they begin to smell the pheromone.